today I have absolutely nothing planned. Like, I've just been stuck in the house the whole time. I thought I would be nice and just show you guys what I picked up from Kelly's. Um, honestly, I didn't have to go to Kelly's for anything in specific, but I knew that I had to get out of the house. So, um, I just picked up some batteries for a thermometer gun that I ordered a couple days ago for my dad. I also got some tape, some gel pens because, you know, I'm starting to just plan and journal and just keep myself mentally occupied by writing and planning things and I don't know, just keeping myself mentally busy besides being on social media and Netflix and YouTube. And then what else did I get? I got the batteries, I got the pens, I got tape, um, I got a little sketchbook. So this is the, or not journal, but the sketch journal that I got. It's heavyweight paper, which I love. I started to learn Korean and I learned a few words here and there. I also got a little acrylic makeup storage container. I like having my makeup displayed and it also saves me room inside of my vanity if I were to ever get more makeup, which I will at some point. I was so tempted to order it, but I was like, why order it before you go and look for it here? So this is the little makeup vanity I got and I love that it has this um, cushioned mesh at the bottom. I said I have my all-time favorite foundation, which is the... Maybelline 24 hour foundation 310 sun beige my concealers and in the top drawer I just have whoops my mascaras eyebrow products I had lunch and then I've just been sitting around watching YouTube one of my favorites just posted a video so I've been watching that and then I got the inspiration to organize so I originally had all of my makeup brushes in this little pouch right here but I have decided that I don't want to do that anymore so now I have all of my kind of office supplies inside of here like pens my markers my jewel tip markers all that kind of stuff so all of my pens come in here I got this from Kelly's for like two something and it goes with the aesthetic of my room and I really, really like it. This is organized. Makeup brushes are organized. I kind of want to organize all of my electronics as well, just because even though it's out of sight, what? Oh, <laughs> I thought my AirPods were out of the case because I only saw this, but it's my old headphones. Um, I want to organize all of my electronic pieces because even though they're out of sight, out of mind, the fact that I know that they're not organized bothers me. So, remote, AC remote, TV, laptop, charger. I'm not even gonna try. That's actually not a lot. Why am I acting like it's a whole electronics company store in here? Okay. Let me put let me pause first. Oh gosh. Let me pause for a second and get you guys set up and then I'll come back. Somewhat of a huge mess in front of me right now. So first, figure out where everything right. goes. First option is this cute basket from Kelly's. It's walked, but you know, adds to the, you know, home wear effect of the basket. So that's option number one. Option number two is this big old fabric box. And then option number three is this bottom drawer and this is what I have going on I have to shout out this fin Finti company I have this wireless keyboard that goes 
with my, let me push this back. Look, that goes with this Fenty iPad case. This is literally the best electronic purchase of 2020. Go on Amazon and order this. I'll probably link it in the description below if you're looking for a really good, sturdy, durable iPad case. Bluetooth. And it also has a normal USB charging port that's a little bit smaller, but it comes with its own charging cord. <laughs> shelving unit that's right in front of me and in here like I did previously I'm gonna put my TV remotes my AC unit remote I may end up putting my phone's tripod in here so okay let me just show you guys um, what I got from Amazon UB size phone tripod um, attachment for go for a GoPro and for a normal camera it comes with a Bluetooth remote that can be used for iOS and Android. And then this is the charger that comes with the Fenty keyboard case. Toss that box away. Also gonna put, look at this giant mess. my laptop I grab very frequently I'm also gonna put this inside of this basket as well so I could probably throw this box away probably throw that away okay this is what the finished electronic drawer looks like that is done so that's basically where I decided to put it um, this is like my every day journal planner this is for next year and then right there so that's basically how i have it organized i think dinner is gonna start here quite soon we're having my mom's most amazing lentil soup oh my gosh it's so good pick this video up again tomorrow or I'll come back later in the evening and show you guys some of my favorite pieces from Old Navy that I've ordered over the past two or three months. Sorry if it's like all over the place. I don't have anything else to film. I mean, I do, but I've been planning it for the past week and filming is scheduled. I've been planning it this entire week and filming is scheduled for this Sunday, so I'm super excited. This was the video that I was supposed to film two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. Hopefully filming this Sunday goes a whole lot better. I decided instead of waiting for tomorrow that I was just gonna do this today. Get yourself together. So I thought it would be really, really cool to, I don't know, incorporate showing you guys my favorite Old Navy pieces that I've gotten within the last two to three months i did one giant order a medium-sized order and then everything else um i ordered from old navy have been masks and clothing for my mom so here in the bahamas we obviously don't have old navy so everything that i got i used my shipping company called go postal um every single time that i order something and have it shipped down here I will start off with shoes. So the first pair that I got are these beige taupe round toe uh, kitten heels that are block. These are extremely comfortable. I've had these before but in a black pair but I wore those things to they could no longer like I could no longer have them so that's how much I wore them out like I had to throw them away. So I bought a new pair in a more neutral color that's a little bit 
less harsh than black but still goes with absolutely everything the next pair of shoes are heeled kitten block heels but they are a pair of sandals these are too narrow and too tight up here they bother the heck out of me so if i see a shoe like this sometimes i will pass it because it's just not comfortable at all however with these shoes you are guaranteed comfortable i have always wanted a pair of simple slip on sandals buy a pair that can just easily slip on and still look cute and stylish enough to wear out if you need listen if you need a white pair of sneakers don't go spending a ton of money you can just get these I have been dying when I tell you that's, ex that's very exaggerate not dying the perfect when I tell you perfect I am not exaggerating there these are the perfect pair of white full leather sneakers that I love that silver in the back my last pair of shoes that I am super excited to wear um, as you can see from the shoes I've shown you, I do not like to wear stiletto heels because I could not be bothered to wear stilettos. As you can see, I have not worn these yet. Look at that. Simple, sleek, um, I think it's, yeah, it's gold buckle hardware. Like, it is just so pretty. When I tell you that these blazers that I got from Old Navy are high quality and I will never be buying blazers anywhere else but Old Navy. Affordability, comfortable, just downright amazing. Like, I only got three and they're very simple styles. Hopefully I can find them and link them for you guys and they're not sold out. Look at this lighting, like I'm pretty sure I took like three photos just now. I got this in a large. This one is their normal cut blazer. It's quite long, but I do really, really love it. So this is what it looks like from far. It hits right just below the butt. It's a large, so it's too long on my arms, but I don't really care about that. So the next blazer is a linen a very lightweight material so perfect for um like especially us here in the bahamas this blazer is absolutely perfect it is so thin this i would wear with like a t-shirt and some jeans like on casual fridays this is how i would style it and maybe with like those white pairs of sneakers perfect this last blazer is probably my most favorite blazer um I bought my normal size, which is a medium. Get my fall vibes in every outfit I wear at work with this blazer on. So, I'm hoping that happens. Yet, here I am, living in the tropics, soaking up the sun. Your girl is obsessed with fall. And in an upcoming video, hopefully, I will be taking you guys around Nassau where you can find the best fall decorations so you don't have to feel left out um because once okay the first day of fall is September 22nd so either on September 22nd or the days after I want to put up a fall decoration video haul and decorate with me so I am really going to be hunting for the best decorations like